games, win prizes, hit a five phone, and find out what a BB beat for wrong is. Come on! We'll be right back for that first game after these commercial messages. Shusha on Fan TV. Let's try that one more time. Ah! The team that gets the most balls in the hoop after 30 seconds is the winning team. Yeah. So now let's meet the green team first, okay? Uh-oh. Your name? Yeah. And you? David. Maricelo. Yellow team now. Your name? Your name? Zachary. in the air so that's how it smells and that's how it finds its prey even though they kill by constricting their prey or coiling around it they do have over 100 sharp recurved teeth so if you were to lift up this animal's lip you would see those teeth they're in a membrane and they're very needle sharp and they sit like this in the mouth so that's how they grasp their prey then they coil around it and they'll often frequent water holes because that's where mammals come to drink looking for water and these snakes are hatched from eggs that the female lays. They're only about 18 inches. And when this snake was purchased at a pet store, it was only about 18 inches long. But you can see how big this snake has already gotten at 14 feet. It has the potential to reach the record of 32 feet in length. And the heaviest snake that ever existed was an anaconda from South America with a 45 inch girth and it weighed 450 pounds. So these are considered the giant constricting snakes. And a snake will grow throughout its entire life. And they can live about 25 to 28 years. 
And to accommodate their growth, they shed. So if you look closely, I think the boys have been, and girls have been helping me shed this one. You'll see that her eyes are a little bit of a blue-gray color because she will shed her eye caps. And right now she's beginning to shed her skin and there's portions of it where the skin is beginning to come off and she'll shed the whole skin to accommodate her growth. Now, snakes like this live in areas where the temperature is warm most of the year. And they're what we call a cold-blooded animal. So this snake is the same temperature as the air here today. So when it's cold, snakes become very inactive. And when it's warm, the longer they're under the lights, the more active they become. So this one, as it warms up, will be more active and be wanting to look around more. They move themselves by lifting their body up from the big scales on their belly. So they lift using their scales and their muscles and propel themselves forward. And uh, they can move rather rapidly. Uh, they do seek shelter and they'll go in holes underground. And they're very beneficial because they control populations of mammals. So um, snakes are regulated by the available food supply. Now you have the end right down there. If you look at the belly, we can see. You can maybe take some of that skin and show how it's coming off. Just pick it up and you can pull a piece of it off right there. Okay. Yeah, it's very clear. And right after this snake sheds, she has a beautiful color, very iridescent. And uh, the skin is at its most brilliant. There we go, here's a piece of it. You can see it's just transparent. All right, here we go. Before she gets a hold of you, we'll walk her over here. We're gonna bring out a brand new baby animal. So I'll have to be really quiet. This is a binturong, and we'll let her jump down, and you can feed her. If you pick up the food one piece at a time, you can get her to sit up. Hi. Yeah. This side, this side, for everybody to see your face. There, come right around. We're going to have her sit up and show you why they call her a bear cat. Does she look like a bear when she's standing up? Yeah, mixed cat and bear. Oh. She kind of looks like a cross between a bear and a cat, but actually she's a mongoose. She's the largest member of the mongoose family, and she lives in trees. So she has a prehensile tail and very strong arms and legs for grasping branches. And she can literally walk from tree to tree, upside down under the branches or on top the branches. And she eats all kinds of fruit. They'll eat fish, they'll eat frogs, they'll eat lizards. They're what we call an omnivore. They eat all kinds of different foods. She's five months old. Five? Five months and she was born at the zoo. She was raised in our nursery, and she got a, a baby milk formula. We call her Velcro, because she just clings to you. Oh, and Velcro. She likes to ride on your shoulder or your back, because being an arboreal animal that lives in the trees, that's where she feels comfortable. She feels comfortable when she has a hold of something. Okay, she's gonna hold, she's gonna hold her. Look. Very small eyes, because being a nocturnal animal, um, she's active in the evening hours, so she sleeps most of the day. And very long whiskers for helping her find her way, help her feel because she moves at night so she can feel her way through the trees. Oh, it's so cute. She's from Southeast Asia, the same area um, that you saw the, the python, the Hi. same part of the world. So cute. Hi. And probably that python would be an animal that, if were she in the wild, she'd have to watch out for because that python can uh -oh. go up the trees. So that would be um, one of the okay. predators she'd have to be She's very a baby. cautious. Just five feet. Five months. She'll weigh about 45 pounds when she's full grown. And she's uh, quite an active animal. Good girl. Okay. Can I hold her? Sure. Just to say bye, but in my arms. That's where she feels comfortable. But she'll put her tail around your throat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> or your head. Well, I hope then she, well, she finishes eating them. <laughs> can, can I, well, okay, yeah. Well, we'll be back. After this commercial message, we'll be back for some more fun. On Fan TV. There's a new test that I found that I want to tell you all about. It's really so exciting, but you gotta want to try it out. The first one that you make.
for Shisha Roulette. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I was just going to explain Shisha Roulette. Okay, go okay. ahead. Go it's, ahead. A lot, it's a lot like musical chairs, only a lot gloopier. Because <laughs> what you do is when you hear the music, you walk around all the stools. Then when the music stops, you grab whatever chair you can get. Then when you hear the gong, you pull the handle. And somebody gets looped. <laughs> After we've gone through everybody, the last unglooped person is the winner. <laughs> OK, so now let's meet the children and the kids. Your name? Heather. Michael. Hannah. Michelle. Jeremy. Samantha. So go. Go, 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 go. OK, 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 OK.
miss a chance to watch a game show where the contestants drool when you feed them. Check out That's My Dog today at 5.30 Eastern, only on Fam TV. But right now, grab a shield and go adventuring with the Knights of the Round Table. Join Prince Valiant next.